This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer. The one, the only eight father on the recliner. Wow! You know, I found something very interesting. Uh, the sundial investors, actually, in particular, might find is very interesting. Mike Tyson and Ric Flair. <laughs> you know, the, the wrestler. Oh my God, they're in a partnership together. Can you, what a great partnership. Ric Flair, man, and Mike Tyson. So in, in a cannabis company. So from what I read, I don't know exactly how it happened, but Mike Tyson had something, Mike Tyson 2.0, and he partnered with Ric Flair's, Ric Flair's Drip. So it's an actual cannabis company that the, that the two uh, legends are in, Mike Tyson and Ric Flair. You know, there's a lot of, like, hot stuff going on with, with cannabis and marijuana. It's no joke, man, you know. I never thought as a child, you know, when I was young, I'm talking about, I should say a child, <laughs> like a teenager, you know. I, I never thought I would see the day, you understand, where marijuana was legal. I never thought. It was, I can't tell you, I mean, I, when, when we were younger, you know, everybody once in a while had a little, you know, you know what I'm talking about, <sighs> once in a while. But, you know, it turns out it's very good for you. You know, it's not a joke. You know, it's it could even, there were some people that said that even cannabis could be a, a potential cure for cancer. You know, I remember one time I was watching this uh, interview on uh, Sebastian Bach. Uh, not, you know, the genius pianist, okay? Uh, but the singer of, of Skid Row, okay? And he was on some kind of show. I don't know if it was Oprah Winfrey. I can't remember. But um, everybody in the audience was screaming at him, you know, saying, you're a disgrace. How could you smoke marijuana? All this stuff. And he said, this stuff is very healthy. It's very good for you. And everybody was screaming, you know, you're a disgrace. You're supposed to be a role model. He happens to be right. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, now there's medical marijuana. Like there are people who actually take it for, for medical purposes. So... It turns out that the uh, cannabis is a very, very healthy thing. And um, yet it also gives you a nice little high, right? You know, I never understood, that, though, how they could make marijuana legal because for the purposes of, you know, I mean, think about it. If you're high, you shouldn't be driving a car. So I guess there's probably some kind of restrictions. I, I, I didn't really read the whole rule of how it works, but I know it's legal in, in the state of New Jersey. Like, it's kind of crazy, you know. You could walk down the street, there could be a police officer, you could be smoking uh, marijuana, and like just blow it in his face. <laughs> He's like, what's up there, chief? You know, <laughs> it's crazy, right? I still find it amazing. But, um, you know, that uh, House of Representatives, they're making a very big vote coming up on making uh, marijuana legal all over the United States, every state. So that's why uh, Sundial had a, a pretty hot rise lately and it could even get hotter now again my portfolio is currently only amc that's it but i wouldn't blame a person who had side money you know you had a little spare change you want to you want to get a little sundial i don't see anything wrong with that i never i am an advocate of holding amc all right never sell amc you know but i'm not a financial planner i'm not a financial advisor I'm an entertainer. So technically, I can't tell you what to do. Don't listen to anything I say, right? But I'm just saying, like, if you had a couple of side spare change, you wanted to go into Sundown, I wouldn't think uh, that was, I would think that's a pretty small thing to do based on everything that's happening right now with the House of Representatives. Now you read about two legends like Mike Tyson and Ric Flair entering the cannabis business together. Hey, man, go marijuana. <laughs> AMC to Pluto.